A very good evening to all the media persons from electronic and print media. As you are aware, National Human Rights Commission complaints with regard to human rights violations with the senior officers of the states and also the uh, non-governmental organizations, uh, uh, civil society organizations, human rights defenders, uh, commission listens to their suggestions, views and everything. So now it is the last session with the media. As you all know, media is the fourth pillar of democracy and without your participation, so without your views, the program of the commission will not end. So the, uh, the format is that first the Honorable Chair President Mr. will address you and thereafter uh, one uh, person from each of the print media will raise your points on the issues. I will request from the Chairperson, sir, to proceed. Uh, we had a very fruitful day today. Initially, we held a camp sitting in which we had 30 cases. All the cases were taken up. And uh, with the help of cooperation of both the parties, we could decide almost 17, uh, with 17 cases we have decided, and we have passed the order in all other matters, the visit orders. There are matters like uh, compulsion for the medical students to stay in the hostel and payment to the fee. We have directed in that case that the uh, same is not permissible, hostel stay cannot be made mandatory, and uh, there in the some certain case when with the respect to we find accesses, police accesses, we have ordered the payment of compensation. And where the pension was withheld for more than fifteen years, we have directed the interest to be paid at the rate of six percent on the delay for the delayed payment. <coughs> and we have to Refunded compensation and in various other cases also uh, of amount, amounting to rupees 80 lakhs. And uh, in certain cases, uh, proof of payment was also submitted to us. And in certain cases, we have kept open the cases for proof of payment after ordering the compensation to be paid. We have directed. <coughs> State functions to put the proposals into the Pasco court in the case of uh, sexual abuse of the children under the as per the victim compensation scheme of the NALSA, which ensures for higher payment of compensation. We also had interaction with the Chief Secretary of the State, Director General, and other officials, and uh, took. Uh, their reports on various advisories which have been issued on mental health, CSM, bonded labor, right to food and security, about welfare of the truck drivers, prevention of ocular trauma, prevention of suicide in judicial and police custody, manual scavenging uh, in the septic tanks and uh, sewers. That should be done by the mechanical mode, not by manual mode. The, we also asked the officers to submit the reports on the pending matters in which we have not received the report from the various authorities. And they have assured us that they will, the, they will be sending the report at early date. We also had interaction, very fruitful interaction with the NGOs, they have pointed out <coughs> various problems which are being faced by them in, the, in the carrying out their activities. They have pointed out like, uh, problems like lack of educational capacity for hearing impaired, mentally challenged, intellectually disabled persons, and for their inclusive ed education. And uh, with respect to lack of uh, convenience to the mentally challenged persons 
abuse of children in children home, visits by NGOs in the children home, and lack of employment capacity for transgender persons, non repatriation of the Bangladeshi women, and the environmental issues, etc., were also raised by certain persons. We have advised them the proper course of action. Certain other problems were pointed out, which were in the domain of the court. We advised them to take the appropriate steps or to approach to us in the cases where we can hear the matters. <coughs> So we had a very fruitful interaction with the NGOs and uh, they are doing, from their activities, we came to know that they are doing good job and they will continue to do good job, we expect so. This was the short, this was the short report of our activities today. Now you are... So, uh, press release has already been submitted. I would request uh, one question each to the respective media houses. Please introduce yourself and raise the question. Yes, microphone. Yes, please. What is your question? Sir, uh, how many cases we are receiving on an year and what is the percentage of our settlement? How many cases we are receiving at, at the national, national level? International level, I cannot say. No, no, national. <laughs> National level, yes. we can say yes. to you, yes, sir. NHRC is receiving yes, sir. approximately 1 lakh or more cases. Every day complaint filing is 400. And uh, total pendency, including the previous year's pendency, which are pending for want of report, are around 6,000. Not more than that. Little less than that. It may be little less. And yeah, every day it keeps fluctuating by 100 or so, or little less, little more. But we are trying to improve upon the situation further. The pendency is not more. They are pending those cases which are pending only for the reports for action to be taken. Sir, this is Shankarnarin from PTA, sir. How many cases have been submitted from the government of Andhra Pradesh and how many has been resolved? Uh, here we are having uh, several 17 cases uh, which have uh, been in the... 30 cases we had today, 17 cases we have decided. And in certain around 45 cases we have uh, 70 cases. No? We have asked them to submit the reports which we have, they have not submitted. So uh, approximately these are the 100, uh, around approximately 100 cases. So uh, what about the MLC Anantha Babu at Kakinada? He has been murdered, his driver and uh, sent him uh, the body to door delivery to their uh, relatives, parents. If Why? Uh, Which is uh, uh, such a grave case as... If ca today this case was not listed, if this case has, is pending for us, we will check up. In the pending cases, it may be there, it may not be there. You see, we are not sure about it. Because in which the reports have not come up, those cases were not listed today. Sir, I'm Fanindra from Indian Express. So I would like to ask you one thing, sir. So what is the style of uh, complaints you are releasing from AP in particular categories for human rights violation? Human rights violation, you see, uh, sometimes police accesses, fine. Sometimes forest dwellers, tribal supportment, some, something like this, you see, some accesses with someone or some benefit to be given to disabled, disability certificates, pensions, delayed pensions, something like that. Freedom fighters pension not being settled. Today we have issued direction in such cases also. And then also the, the cases of death in septic tank uh, of workers, you see, in that now Supreme Court enhanced the completion to 30 lakhs. Earlier it was 10 lakhs. From October onward, 28th October, it is 30 lakhs now. We want that mechanical cleaning should be done of sewers and sewer septic tanks, etc. Not by men. men. Anyone else? Thank you. No other question. Thanks a lot.